Well, this morning brought the first court appearance of the woman accused of driving drunk and hitting and killing two children and injuring several other people at a birthday party in Monroe County. What was supposed to be a simple arraignment became much more than that when family members of those uh, children started speaking. Victor Williams takes us through an emotional hearing. You know, you have just so many people heartbroken by the situation, and it's clearly evident by all of this that you see right here, this memorial that continues to grow for the victims. We're finally getting a look at all the charges that this woman is now facing. They were sitting at that table eating, and this woman crashed her car through this building, destroying all of our lives. 66-year-old Marcella Chattister is now facing eight charges in connection to the Swan Boat Club tragedy that took place this past weekend when she allegedly drove an SUV through the side of a boat club during a children's birthday party, allegedly while under the influence of alcohol. Turns out she lives just a few doors down from the incident. One boat club member says he sees her on a regular basis. But most of the time I see her, she's been highly intoxicated. The mother of the victims now identified as Mariah Dodd and her three kids were attending the party when the SUV came out of nowhere. Two siblings, four-year-old Zane and eight-year-old Alana passed away. An older sibling broke both of his legs, several ribs, and now has a fractured skull. My brother is in the hospital right now. Praying that his little boy comes through. And he still got to tell his son that he lost his sister and brother. Mariah herself broke six ribs and has a collapsed lung with several other injuries as well. I had to be the one to tell my sister her babies were gone when they removed her ventilator yesterday. She said, how am I supposed to live without my babies? Now, Chenister's attorney is insisting that she only had one drink at the bar and had an epileptic seizure, which led to that crash taking place. She's due back in court on the 30th. Victor Williams. Oh. So, so heartbreaking. All right, Victor.